It's adorable. Adorable. Why does the sand in this hourglass look like it's floating? Is that a quirk of this specific hourglass? How are we even supposed to get that back to the warp pad? Oh, yeah, just stop running. That'll definitely help you get away from the water. <laughs> Why do we only get to see this stretchy hand thing once after this episode? I can guarantee you that there are many scenarios where that would come in handy. How did this alarm clock not get absolutely drenched? Pearl's fingers aren't colored in in this shot. You have a lobster on your butt, huh? The ice cream joke from last episode was the most random joke, but this is honestly a pretty decent contender. After you, sir. Uh, is it stuck? Yeah. Just pull the truck forward? It doesn't even look like anything is stuck. But the whole town's gonna be there. Steven, that's like 15 people. Dad, fat, it's fat, 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 fat. Rude. Steven's thumb somehow goes under his mouth in this shot. Dad! Dad! <laughs> How did Greg not hear any of that? We can't go around trying to change time stuff. A sentiment that lasts for not even 15 seconds before the writers forget about it completely. Steven! <laughs> Steven's helmet and scooter disappear from this shot onwards. So, who's our fourth? We need a drummer. Not a problem, Steven. They never explain where they find the fourth person. I guess they don't really need to, but it'd still be nice to see where they could pull him from. Can't you see it in my eyes? Your eyes look dead. But in all seriousness, I like this song, all right? It's not as good as some of the ones we've heard already, but I like the lyrics, the Stevens harmonize well, and I just think it sounds pretty good. Also, not a sin, but Wiki, this is not an error. This is the shot they're referring to. They show this shot because they're highlighting when Steven says me. It's so quick because Steven sings it quickly. Come on, guys. Let's take five. There's a fifth, Steven? I'm so annoying. And yet he continues to be annoying past this point. Amethyst said she'd do it. I'm down for whatever. Amethyst was not in this earlier shot, so I assume she just teleported in from out of nowhere. Steven pulls this plug here, but then in this shot, it's plugged back in. Also, Steven's two and four switch instruments after Steven unplugs them. Steven's star disappears in this shot. This song that's playing here, I don't know if it's meant to be bad as some kind of statement on the state of music in 2014 or something, but it is quite possibly one of the worst songs in this show. These callbacks to the earlier episodes are honestly really clever. Not to mention that they also use this to foreshadow Ocean Gem. It's stuff like this that I really love and would like to see more of in Steven Universe. Just take me back to the beginning! That was so incredibly vague that the time thing should now take Steven back to the fucking Big Bang. Exactly how many places did Steven time travel to to justify possibly over a hundred Stevens being here? And hell, how is this whole scene even happening? What theory of time travel's being used here? Because no matter how you slice it, it's pretty nonsensical. Brace yourself, we're about to dive into complicated wacko territory here. It doesn't make any sense for there to be only one timeline, since later in the episode, Steven sings about creating an alternate timeline. And clearly, time paradoxes aren't a factor, since Steven meets himself multiple times. So it only makes sense for multiverse theory to be in effect here, right? Every single instance of time travel creates a new, separate timeline? But then how does every other Steven end up in this exact timeline, rather than each of them being put into their own separate timelines upon using the time thing? And even if that were possible, Possible, then why would every Steven and their time things be destroyed when the original Steven's time thing is broken rather than them just being stranded in this timeline? And yes, I know, I'm reading too far into a kid's show and it probably follows its own strange logic, but fuck you, this is fun to think about. Plus, it doesn't exactly stop this from being weird as fuck and also full of holes. Also, some of the other Stevens don't have numbers on their cheeks like they should. In this shot, not only do these two Stevens just freeze in place out of nowhere, but this Steven's tongue turns completely white. Can't you see it in our eyes? Is it weird that I like this version a little better than the original? The microphone disappears in this shot, this shot, and this shot. I learned to stay true to myself by watching myself die. In what way does this episode teach Steven to stay true to himself? Steve, Ed, you've created a time paradox. 
The future must not be changed. You must know the future. <laughs>